Here she is, once in a lifetime opportunity for the finest Cadillac made in the 1980s. Well, maybe not the finest, but definitely the most iconic and talked about Cadillac offering. 1986 Cadillac Cimarron. This beautiful one owner Florida car. It in Fort Myers its whole life. If you can't tell by the way on the top that it's a Florida car. Take a look at this thing. Beautiful white, silver lower trim. Burgundy quarter top. Probably the smallest vinyl top in existence. There from Val Ward. This car is very clean. Uh, no rust underneath, it's super clean. The alloy wheels are in nice shape, the body's in nice shape. Kind of a cool conversation piece. No Cadillac collection would be complete without a Cimarron. Fog lights, it's got a little bit of glaucoma right there. This is the new sealed beam. Chrome is in nice shape, very, very shiny. Body's in great shape as well. Alloy wheels, brand new tires. Got a couple spots on the bottom of the fenders and the bottom of the doors where the silver is kind of flaking off a little bit. But otherwise, very clean. Quarter top is in beautiful condition. Never seen another one with this top. Luggage rack, two-tone pinstriping. It does need the rear bumper caps. I have one that's salvageable, uh, but it should use a new pair of bumper caps. The only real downfall on the body here is you can see a little bit of checking and cracking. Looks like someone painted right above the red stripe, about halfway down the quarter here. I'm gonna assume when they installed this aftermarket top, they probably screwed something up and uh, did a quick fix. It's starting to come through now. But otherwise, the body is in nice shape. More spots where it's kind of flaking. Pretty cool little car. A little bit of rub mark there. That might come off, actually. Side. It's got leather and suede seats. Shows pretty well. Dual power seats. All four power windows, power locks, cruise control. Let's uh, start it up. This car, I don't know how many miles are on this car. It's uh, going to be sold TMU. Uh, the mileage all reads zero, the trip reads a thousand. I probably put 500 miles on this car and uh, nothing has changed. So, uh, mileage is unknown. In Florida, they do not do state inspections apparently every year. So, uh, there's no mileage readings from state inspections. Bottom of the door is nice and clean. I think it's been undercoated to those plugs before, but there was a little bit of rust, just the surface rust starting there. Some of the seats show a little bit of dryness. But all in all, pretty good. The interior is pretty decent. Headliner is nice. Both front sun visors won't stay up by themselves. They're kind of propped up. That's just like undercoating losing out there. This car can comfortably seat one adult. <laughs> All joking aside, uh, we've had four in it before. Here. 
seats are in decent shape. A little bit of dryness there. Probably from the Florida weather. Power antenna. Needs a new mast. It needs to be rebuilt. Little mark right there. But she runs pretty good. Like I said, I drove this car back uh, from uh, New Jersey. It drove good. the hood inside the trunk then we'll take it for a drive got the factory floor mats all clean under here valve ward v6 things a rocket ship zero to 60 and god i don't know how many days but it gets there very clean under here. Got a new booster. Like I said, new tires. Uh, that's a little bit of foot insulation coming out here. Another alternator. I do believe the uh, I do believe the um, valve covers are leaking a little bit. Plate in the window. It's, uh, it's pretty clean. We'll give it a let's uh, take it for a spin. Runs and drives pretty good. Um, looks like it's got newer exhaust underneath it. It's very clean underneath, no rust. Um, but it does sound like there might be a seam or something that's leaking a little bit. But otherwise, she takes off and goes. Shifts through the gears. The front struts are a little uh, noisy get quick struts for these cars relatively inexpensively um, now it runs and drives good uh, a few little things like the struts uh, the brakes are good nice and solid brakes uh, cruise control works all that stuff works um, I could not get the climate control to function correctly uh, it blows but the air doesn't work Yeah, radio. Oh yeah, baby. I don't know if this song matches this car, but it feels pretty good right now. Just kind of tools down the road. Oh, what's love got to do? Oh, is this the one? Oh, shoot. <laughs> Anyways, give me a call. 978-930-1004. Uh, if you've been looking for a small J-Body, Cavalier, uh, Cimarron, something cool and unique, uh, this is definitely one to take a look at. Um, I do have... Uh, some neat items that I bought for this car that if the buyer is interested in, I, I would work a deal with them. I have a set of new old stock in the box Dayton wire wheels. Uh, and I also have two new old stock in the boxes uh, E and G classic grills. Um, I had some intentions of dressing this car up uh, but I have since shifted my attention elsewhere. So if the uh, buyer of this car is interested, uh, I would definitely talk to him about purchasing those as well. Um, otherwise, it's got factory alloys on it, new old stock center caps I put on, uh, new tires, rocks down the road great. Give me a call, 978-930-1004.
check out the website www.specialtymotorcars.com I'm sorry, .net specialtymotorcars.net have a good one